welcome welcome my dear friends myself professor dr rajendra deshpande would like to welcome you all in this interesting video regarding the fourth year bams bachelor of ayurvedic medicine and surgery this is also useful for the ms who are doing the shalya tantra subject ms in ayurveda okay so this is regarding the diseases of rectum and anal canal presented by myself professor dr deshpande i am md in ayurvedic medicine and md in ayurvedic physiology and my whatsapp number for paid online consultation and paid online classes 9226810630 so let us start to discuss another problem of the recto anal region okay so this particular video will talk about the shalya tantra lecture for the fourth year bms ccrm syllabus paper 2 part a point number 13 diseases of rectum and anal canal and today we will discuss about fissure in ano fissure in ano is a very common problem nowadays in the medical uh, medical practice in general practice so my dear students this video is not only for the examination but this video is very very useful in your medical general practice whether you are a surgeon or not even for the physicians the patients lot of patients comes to you many patients they shy to tell about this particular complaint ano rectal region is such a region that the many patients do not want to open there in the first meeting but if you ask them what are the basic many patients complain that oh doctor i am having problem in the lower back i am having the back pain but when you go on the asking about the defecation about the stools about the bowels they you will see that these patients are constipated and these are having the problems like the piles or the fissure or the fistula three common problems are in general medical practice of anorectal region that is piles number 1 or hemorrhoids piles and hemorrhoids are the same fissure in ano second problem and fistula in ano i have already uploaded the videos regarding the this particular shalya tantra subject regarding i have uploaded the congenital anorectal anomalies then i have talked about the piles or the hemorrhoids and this in lecture is regarding the piles or fissure in ano i am sorry fissure in ano is different and piles is different piles is equal to hemorrhoids fissure in ano is called as parikartika in ayurveda kartana means to cut to cut so around the anal opening there are small wounds w o u n d s wounds jakham hoti hai jakham fissures hote hain aur wo bahut bahut painful hote hain the patient cannot tell and the patient is so much so restless so you will have to treat this patient very aggressively fissure in a no fissures can be even lip fissures here because of the herpes or because of the fever you can get the fissures fissures of the lips but this is fissure in ano at the anal region longitudinal ulcer in the lower end of anal canal longitudinal ulcers remember piles is like balls they are regarding the veins dilated veins but this is fissure fissure is related with the ulcer fissure is equal to ulcer don't forget fissure is equal to ulcer mostly due to the constipation all the anorectal problems it may be fissure it may be piles it may be the fistula the main cause can be constipation and that is not acute constipation long standing constipation months to together years together the patient is having hard stool he has to strain while defecation he has to give the pressure on the anorectal region and that creates the problem of fissure piles and fistula don't forget constipation is the main cause our li bad lifestyle sedentary lifestyle no exercise no walking eating heavy food eating all the times of high calorie food sweets sedentary life no walking no exercise eh? and what happened no exercise of for example the best exercise yoga exercise for the abdominal muscle is pavan muktasana don't forget it pavan muktasana second is surya namaskar sun salutation these are all good for this particular all anorectal problems and walking is the best exercise minimum 45 minutes walking fast walking not that window shopping 
this is very useful and not eating spicy food spicy food very hot very pungent very chilly very garlics and red chilli and green chilli very very bad for the fisher eyes and fistula remember my words too much alcohol very bad too much tea taking the tea and coffee too much very bad remember this hot pitta prakopak ahara vihar is bad for anorectal problems okay so longitudinal ulcer mostly due to the constipation most painful condition in the anal region seen in the young adults fisher what are the common sites in males 90% at posterior and 10% in the anterior side in the females this is opposite ratio in the females during the pregnancy due to the tear of perineum resulting in the loose support to the anterior anus so common site is anterior in the males common site is posterior in the females common site is anterior see the difference 60 to 40% 60% and only 40% on the posterior side types of the fissure in anus primary and secondary in primary fissure fissure is situated at the mid line of anus and secondary fissure situated other than mid line of anus seen in the secondary also diseases that means primary focus primary disease will be separate and fissure is a complication fissure is a secondary to primary disease like ulcerative colitis so in this secondary what you have to remember sankshepatah kriya yogo nidana parivarjanam ayurveda says try to treat the root cause of the disease so when you will treat ulcerative colitis fissure will be treated crohn's disease treat first and then also fissure malignancy hmm? then syphilis diabetes mellitus and trauma these are the another predisposing factors supportive factors so you must check the blood sugar of the patient in any problem of anorectal region it may be fissure it may be piles it may be the fistula check the blood sugar don't forget to check it then do also the liver function test many patients are alcoholic remember this things many patients are taking non vegetarian food that is also bad for these anorectal problems clinical features most important pain severe pain in fissure because fissure is ulcer fissure is ulcer remain of pain is remain after defecation constant pain for 4 hours after you go to the stools after defecation 4 hour pain remain persist very burning or cutting in nature cutting cutting pain remember very dangerous hard stool like pallet then sentinel piles this is a specific word sentinel pile is not related with the original hemorrhoid sentinel pile is not related with the original piles remember this is always present in fissure in anus sentinel pile is a skin tag sentinel pile is a skin tag this is a protective skin tag for the fissure this is due to the malunion fibrosis of the fissure and chronicity of the fissure sentinel pile is not seen in the very new piles uh, sorry new fissure when the fissure becomes old many months the patient is suffering from fissure in anus then sentinel pile will come sentinel pile is not the problem of veins sentinel problem piles is not a problem of veins that is not dilatation of veins like the hemorrhoids sentinel pile is a basically skin tag skin flap skin flap okay protective mechanism fissure in anus clinical features bleeding negligible in fissure bleeding is like a streak streak line on the stool matter or on a toilet paper sometimes a drop but drop by drop painless bleeding is a fissure of is a feature of feature of i have already told you that is a feature of piles and not fissure fissure pain will be there abscess due to the injury to the anal canal anal gland infection results in pus formation so that is abscess itching due to the continuous 
watery discharge from the fissure perianal area remains wet this results an irritation or itching in the perianal region fissure in a no examination on inspection of anal region fissure is visible in the mid line per rectal digital examination is very difficult not possible in the fissure because already the patient is having pain huh? in acute condition it is not possible due to the pain in chronic condition fissure is palpable and tenderness and spasm of the sphincter can be noted so what is the medical treatment locally you can give the xylocaine jelly for the local pain relief analgesic local anesthetic okay laxative like to get the stools normal without any constipation sits bath avagah sved in ayurveda in seeds n s a i d non steroidal anti inflammatory medicines drugs non steroidal there is no vicodon no prednisolon no decadron no betnelan but what is that Boveron, Combiflam, these are NSAIDs. What is the pronunciation? NSAIDs, non-steroidal, anti-inflammatory drugs. And even if there is a pain severe, fever is there, antibiotic pus is there, inferior hemorrhoidal nerve block can be tried for the relief of pain. Nerve block, fissure, you know, surgical treatments. lords dilatation this is one mcq type question will be asked lords dilatation for fissure in ano then fissurectomy and then spindrectomy stretching of anal canal is a treatment lords procedure of anal dilatation is the easiest method to dilate to dilate the sphincter of anal canal under under because pain is there general or spinal anesthesia भूल देने के बाद ही करना ही है पेशेंट इज इन लिथोटोमी पोजीशन देर मे बी सम फीकर इन कॉन्टिन्यूस फॉर ए फ्यू डेज आफ्टर दिस डायरेटेशन फिशर एक्टोमी ए ट्रैंगुलर इंसिजन वी शेप ट्रैंगुलर इंसिजन वी शेप इज मेड विथ अ सर्जिकल नाइफ स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम एनल मार्जिन ऑन ईच साइड ऑफ द फिशर एजेस ऑफ फिशर स्विचर विथ टू जीरो क्रोमिक कैटगट with interrupted suture complication may be there very rare anal stricture ano rectal fissure ayurvedic treatment shamana chikitsa anti pitta treatment pitta gna chandrakala ras two tablets morning afternoon evening 2 2 okay mauktik kam dudha with pearl mauktam is pearl very very thanda thanda cool cool two tablets two morning two afternoon two evening अभयारिष्ट हरितकी हिरडा अभयारिष्ट हरितकी टर्मिनेलिया चेब्यूला ओके बेस्ट लैक्सेटिव नायरवेदा अभयारिष्ट बेस्ट लैक्सेटिव इफ यू आर हैविंग कॉन्स्टिपेशन टेक अभयारिष्ट इफ यू आर हैविंग कॉन्स्टिपेशन टेक अभयारिष्ट फोर टीस्पून विथ इक्वल अमाउंट ऑफ वॉटर टू टाइम्स आफ्टर लंच आफ्टर डिनर और इट कैन बी टेकन बिफोर लंच एंड बिफोर डिनर फॉर द कॉन्स्टिपेशन ओनली ओके लोकल एप्लीकेशन शत धौत घृत घृत मीन्स घी मेडिकेटेड घी फॉर एक्सटर्नल ट्रीटमेंट कैलास जीवन वेरी फेमस जात्यादी घृत मेडिकेटेड घी जात्यादी तैल कैन बी एप्लीकेबल इट इज ऑलवेज बेटर टू कंसल्ट ए स्पेशलिस्ट इफ नो इम्प्रूवमेंट इज नोटेड एडवाइस फॉर एनोरेक्टर डिसीजेस नंबर वन अवॉइड कॉन्स्टिपेशन नंबर टू अवॉइड स्प्रेनिंग इन टॉयलेट avoid chili spicy non vegetarian food avoid prolonged sitting prolonged standing prolonged walking keep anorectal part very clean and dry this area should be washed with diluted antiseptic lotion like savron diluted or potassium permanganate only 3 4 7 pieces ha huh? the crystals in the 1 liter of the water sits bath with the kmno4 water potassium permanganate water antiseptic take a lot of liquids to make your stools normal and buttermilk is the best takram shakras chaturlabham 
eat fruits okay eat fruits like the grapes figs and green leafy vegetables which will help for easy evacuation of stool this is the shalya tantra lecture for fourth bms and also ms shalya tantra ccm syllabus paper 2 part a point number 13 diseases of rectum and anal canal check professor dr desh pandey's lectures on shalya tantra in my playlist fisher in eno parikartika we have finished next time we will see the fistula in eno so my dear friends thank you very much for your nice cooperation and nice feedback so i request all of you to like this video share this video and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel i wish you all the best for exam and also for the practice all the best wish you happy healthy and long life sarve bisvinas sant